Do you wish you had super awesome alerts for your DLive just like this follower notification? What about a cool bot that has customizable commands for you and your viewers? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have the website for you. It is called Tidy Labs, and since there's never been a better time to join DLive, I hope you do make an account, start streaming there, and use Tidy Labs for all of your alert needs. Today I'm going to show you how to add alerts, as well as customizing the images and sounds that play on the alerts. Here we go. Yeah! yeah. Uh, it's Kevin Tendo and today I'm gonna show off tidylabs.com which is the best way to show your alerts and have a chat bot for DLive. There's never been a better time to join DLive especially since this week PewDiePie is actually joining the platform and the viewer counts on DLive have been crazy already. I can imagine once he actually does stream people are gonna be exploding on this channel so if you haven't registered for DLive go ahead and do it. To get started all you gotta do is log in with your Lino account. I actually use my Lino account to sign in to DLive and I think it's a good idea to do that but here we go so once you sign in you're gonna be met with chat bot, chat overlay, follower goal, alert box, stream labels, event list. This is all the kind of awesome things that you would expect from a service uh, very similar to Streamlabs, but Tidy Labs is developed actually by a separate entity specifically for DLive. So all of these right here on the side were built from the ground up for DLive. So let me show you a quick example. When you click alert box, you can test lemons. I actually set my alerts to go in the top left so you can test follows. And of course donations. It'll actually say the name of the person who donates and what they donated with whatever kind of gift that you want to play. So I'm going to show you how to set that up now. There's a whole section on customization for tips and you go down and you go lemon, ice cream, diamond, ninja gini. There's actually a new one called ninjet which isn't on here just yet but there's only a few steps you have to follow and the first one is finding the link to the GIF that you want to use. So you can click this and search for a GIF. I'm gonna search a uh, party or something, right? And you search party. How about this parrot? I like this dancing parrot. Once you click it, it will go right there. But the next part is sometimes you can upload a sound if you want to do your own custom sounds you actually have to get a account on myinstance.com and then upload that sound to get the sound that you want go to myinstance.com and find whatever sound you want so let's say okay naruto or how about dr bio yeah there we go that's uh believe it terrible translation but now what you do is you're going to actually instead of clicking download mp3 you're gonna right click it you're going to copy link address and that is what you put pound username pound will actually show the person's name and then you could say sent a lemon and then on my community whenever someone donates I make sure that we all say hey we love this person thank you for sending the love we want to send that love right back so now we've got the image the sound and the message of course volume and tip duration I make sure that it lasts a little while because I might be playing a game and then I see it but you know I need to actually look over and read the person's name I don't want to miss the donator so I make sure that the length is a good good amount of time and then uh, to save your changes you actually have to scroll back up here click save changes and if you're in OBS or slobs I'm in slobs right now right click it click properties refresh the cache press ok so let's go over and do that real quick you actually have to refresh the source in OBS because the source kind of takes whatever your alerts are and it saves them right so what you have to do is you have to go into OBS now refresh it alright I'm gonna copy the URL and thankfully it keeps it blurred so I don't have to blur it out for y'all uh, but if you need the exact thing just put your mouse over it and it will reveal it if you want tips follow subscribers and hosts you check that copy that URL now I'm going to add a source in Streamlabs OBS it looks a lot like regular OBS so if that's what you're using I'm gonna click browser source I'm gonna type in D live alerts add the new source then you paste and yeah just use the default width and height and you can always mess around with that later 
then just drag it where you want. I'm actually gonna make it very, very big right now. And let's send a uh, let's send a test. All right, let's test that new one. Dr. Bio. Dr. Bio. <laughs> Tidy Labs sent a lemon. We love Tidy Labs. Exactly. So, uh, once again, you just need to find the GIF on Giphy. The easy way is going through here, but if you'd rather use a custom GIF, you can go to the Giphy website and search for that too. Let me show you that real quick as well. So, you know, I'm doing a Naruto saying, right? So I should probably use a Naruto sticker. Alright, so I found the link to the GIF that I want to use, nice Naruto Shippuden one. What you do is click copy link and then get the GIF link right here. Don't use the short link, use the GIF link. And then you go back over and you're going to paste it. And see, I didn't go through the Giphy search this time, but it's still the same link that ends on, in .gif. Then you go back up, hit save changes click the save and then now I do actually have to refresh it alright so we have got the properties and I am going to click this one refresh the cache of the current page and that is the critical part right there once you click refresh the cache it should change the gif out there we go dot the bio and we've got the new Naruto gif on there very nice very cool so what I encourage you to do next is obviously go through the tips, the lemons, ice cream, diamonds, ninjagini, find ones that you like for all of them and sounds. I keep the sounds pretty much the same for followers. I'm not going to be able to get subscribers for a while unless I get some more followers. I actually need 200 followers, so please do go follow dlive.tv slash kevintendo and catch me on a stream there. That'd be really awesome. If you want chat to appear on the screen, you click the chat overlay one, obviously. Copy the URL and do the exact same thing. Go through the browser source and OBS or slobs paste it on there, put it exactly where you want, and then of course you can test out the chat by going to your actual dlive.tv slash kevintendo. There we go, I have pasted the chat on the screen right now, I'm gonna make it nice and big as well, and then every single thing that I say, hi, 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 hello, perfect, perfect, see, showing up on the screen right here, and yep, there we go. Say, there's the messages on the screen. Perfect, the chat is now on there. Other things you can do with the website are chat overlay, stream labels, event list, viewer count. Go ahead and go through each of these and see which of them you can really utilize on your screen. I usually don't do that because I don't like too much stuff on my screen at one time. I used to have like crazy overlays and tons of stuff everywhere, but I like to keep it plain and simple. The bottom line is you gotta have chat on the screen and you gotta have the alerts, so make sure you do those two. All right, now we're getting into the bot which is just a little tiny bit left, so thank you for sticking around, and please do keep continue watching, but right here we've got chatbot, this is where you can add your commands, and so right now, I already have a couple commands, discord, which will show the discord, and actually this needs to be updated because discord.me changed their website, so I don't use that anymore, tiny.cc slash kev discord, there we go, update that, donate, facebook, friend codes, gawkbox, restream, rules, Slobs. Rules is a really important command to have. Hi, Nacho. Uh, and of course, you can make funny commands and things like that. You basically just do exclamation mark hi, and then the response will be something like, hello, how are you today? Basic things like that. And of course, it would be good to have one command that shows all your commands. There are tons of awesome commands to use, such as Discord, Rules, and you know just pick a third one i guess friend code and then basically if people will type exclamation mark commands then it's a little bit of a helpful thing right so tidy labs bot will respond hey there are a ton of awesome commands to use like discord rules and friend code <laughs> you can go into more detail or even have like a text document that shows all of your commands and maybe this is a feature that will be added in the future anyway but as of right now that's not something that is there but guys there has never been a more exciting time to hop on D Live, and I hope you guys do consider doing that <laughs> Mm-hmm.
I love you, Nacho. I just decided to start kissing Nacho. So, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Life's a switch, so let's play. Just like that. Woohoo!